Lilio just made a brand new device and we have it in the studio today. I have the T-Deck Pro in my office. We're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief explanation of what this thing does and also why I think these devices are very important. This new device is like a mixture between the T-Deck Plus and the T5 e-paper. So this device would be the third generation. The first uh, T-Deck would be this guy right here. It had no battery or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's exciting to see the newest model of this and what I think they're going to be doing with it. So I'm going to start the unboxing now. If you want to skip this unboxing part, I'm going to leave a timestamp here to where you should skip to bypass all that. Alright, so we're done with the unboxing here. So as you see, the similarities between these uh, two devices. So the T-Deck Pro looks just like the T-Deck Plus and the uh, T5 e-paper had a love child. And uh, what I really like about this is I feel like they're taking the best of both designs and putting it into one device. So as you see here, this is probably the most similar. These ink screens I really like. The thing I couldn't figure out is why that the, uh, the new device didn't have like a backlight. I went through the settings to see if I could find it, but I just couldn't find the backlight option. Um, I was able to put the keyboard uh, light on, the backlight over the keyboard, but I couldn't find anything for the light. But I think what they're doing with this device is that when you have these um, these screens, more than likely you're going to be using it outside, and these screens are perfect for using it in the sun. So like this, if you have like one of those like uh, Kindle books, like they have that same type of screen. But I'm really liking these ink screens because for two reasons. One, it saves a lot on your battery life. And these screens are the best screens for outdoor use. So why do I think this is important? So in blackout situations and when you have no power or you're out and about, you're hiking and you want to have some kind of off-grid communication system. Or even a communication system where you're outside the boundaries of cell towers. You want to have a device that you know is going to be ready and charged for you. And then having these ink screens, again, you're not using it to watch videos. You're simply using it to either communicate with somebody or using very light applications that, are, again, not like social media or anything like that. Just, just simple calling, texting, etc. Um, I really think in the future with Meshtastic, I think maybe we'll be able to branch out a little bit more than just the off-grid texting. Um, I think they're experimenting with a little bit more. I think there's some th uh, talks about adding voice to it. So if you have all this, that means you can basically have a free cell network that you can build on your own. If everybody in your neighborhood bought these devices, they'll all link to one another and you'll be able to communicate. So this is like almost preparing for like that scenario where the more Meshtastic users get onto a network, the bigger the reach would be for the service. So as of right now, you're not able to do too much with this device for the sole purpose that it's so new. There's no real like third party firmware, like unlike the T-Deck uh, Plus, where you can download the Bruce firmware, turn it into a pen testing gadget, or you can download the Meshtastic firmware onto it, turn it into a Meshtastic device. There's nothing really available for this thing yet, so you're kind of limited to what you can do with it at the moment, but I can see it definitely being used for Meshtastic in the future. And uh, one thing I didn't really understand here is if you look on the back of these two devices, they, this one had wireless charging, and the other one seemed like it might have had wire, wireless charging because it had that indication. 
But when I tried to put it onto the wireless charger, it just kept giving me errors. So I don't know if that's something they need to work out or maybe there's some kind of special wireless charger they're gonna be designing for this or maybe it wasn't the right wattage or whatever. But as you see here, I kept getting errors. This device is a combination of a little bit of everything they already done into one device. I really think this would be probably the best one for Meshtastic just because of that ink screen. And I'm really excited to see this thing fully optimized with a uh, third party firmware and just the community getting behind this device and finding really cool ways to use it. So I'm really super excited. So I'm gonna post some information on it right now. Here are the dimensions of the device. Here's some more information. Uh, all their stuff's on their website. I'm just giving you some a brief overview so we can get through this. And if you really choose to look at more de in detail, you can go ahead and check it out on their website. And here is some of the main features. There's a 4G module in it. It has a smart AI sensor. Um, has a Chris 3.1 inch e-paper touchscreen that works really well from testing. Has a classic 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is really nice to have. That's why I think they're really getting uh, into the uh, off-grid, like even voice. Time will tell, but I really think that this device is going to be a really good mesh-tastic off-grid communication gadget. I'm really excited to see what becomes of this device. I highly recommend it to you guys for the sole purpose that I really think it has the most potential. And uh, if you use code GHOSTRATS on the LilyGo website, the LilyGo.cc, you could save 5%. So this puts it in the same price range as the T-Deck uh, Plus. So you kind of make a decision of what you want to do, even though the Plus is a little bit more refined because of the sole purpose that it's been around for a lot longer and you could do all these third-party firmwares on it but let me know what you think are we gonna be picking one of these up do you think this is going to be a cell phone killer let me know what you think in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys think of this and what you would like to see all the products here i'm going to leave in the description and uh, again remember the five percent you can save with the code ghost rats and uh thank you guys for watching safety is an illusion and i'll see you guys in the next video